You might think this guy is up to something dodgy. But nope, he's just parking his bike on the wall. And this little guy helped him do it. Scientists have spent decades trying to figure out what makes geckos stick. They can climb any surface, hang upside down, and support their body weight with their toes. They're like the post-it notes of the lizard world, all of which is endlessly fascinating to Duncan Urshik, who studies animal athletics. Geckos are the world champion climbers. They can produce enormous force through their toe pads, and yet it can peel off those uh, toe pads with remarkable ease. Unless you're a superhero, most human attempts to emulate a gecko's climbing skills fall flat. So what does the gecko have that we don't? Material scientists like Al Crosby would love to know. If we want to make you know, people be able to use technologies such as stick something, release it, and do this over and over again on almost any surface, the gecko is where we want to take inspiration from. The two scientists set out to invent the world's best adhesive. And thanks to their stick to they've definitely glommed onto something. So since we know this pad can hold about 300 kilograms, a pad this size can hold seven and a half tons or as much as a tractor trailer. Their invention is called Gekskin. It works because the scientists unlocked the mystery of the gecko's sticky feet. For many years, people have believed that the hairs on gecko toes have really been the key to their climbing success. These are called setae. There are millions of them in the toe pads. In fact, our work shows that the hairs themselves are not the, the most important feature of climbing. The real secret is the tendons, which attach to both the skin and the bones of the foot. This connection between the tendon and actually being stitched into the skin all the way to the bone is, is totally unique. And it's this maintenance of a stiff, tissue that is really allowing something as large as a gecko to adhere to a wall. The soft hairs on the skin provide grip, but the tendons provide the strength to hold the body up. Armed with this new anatomical information, the team set out to replicate it in man-made form, which was surprisingly simple. Gek skin is really just a combination of two simple materials. First, you have a fabric, and second, you have this kind of rubber type material, just like bathroom caulking. Well, there's a little more science at work here than he's letting on. First, they pour a mix of synthetic rubbers into a mold to make a soft pad that sticks like the gecko's toe hairs. Then they add strong, stiff fabric that matches the strength of the gecko's tendons. So we started using things like carbon fiber fabrics and Kevlar, the, the fabrics are the highest stiffness, you get really, really high performance. Fuse together the soft, rubbery stuff with the stiff fabric, and you have Gek skin. This little patch sticks on easily. and it doesn't budge. Even under the weight of more than 100 kilos. They've tested Gek skin all over campus. The same piece can be used over and over. The surfaces, you know, can be rough. They can be not perfectly clean. You don't have to dust them off or anything like that. There are just so many applications, everything from the home, hanging things, to industry of lifting things that are fragile and can't be damaged at all. Even in transportation, there's um, little doubt in my mind that it could hold a car with a little larger pad. So instead of hanging your bike, you could soon be hanging your car. And you'll have a little lizard to thank for it.